this is split screen and it's two people who uh, talk about their work and chat to each other about what they're up to, creativity, Dundee and whatever else comes to mind. I'm Claire Brennan. Uh, I'm a curator and lecturer at Aberté University and I also am co-curator of NEON Digital Arts Festival as well which runs um, every year in November with a programme that happens throughout the year as well. My name's Ryan McLeod. I run a design studio called Slurp where I make things that generally involve the internet. Aside from that, I also run a podcast called Creative Chit Chat Dundee, uh, which is all about capturing the stories and thoughts and opinions of creative people working in and around the city. Do you think then the diversity of what you do comes from wanting to be interested in different things, or is it a kind of what lands on your lap and as a freelancer you kind of you take on to keep yourself busy? Inevitably you end up, as a freelancer, you will end up doing stuff that you don't necessarily want to do or mm. that isn't quite as creative or interesting as you'd like because the bills need paid at the end of the month, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, which is fine. And I think that's part and parcel of it. And when you weigh up the pros and cons versus working for a company, mm. I still think that, that having that flexibility, that freedom mm. allows you to do that. Um, it's, yeah, it's that curiosity and saying, okay, so I take my skills that I developed in this area mm -hmm. and then move them over to this discipline. Mm. Or even if it's like, I don't know, decorating the house, like, yeah, yeah or redoing the kitchen or something like that. There's yeah, elements yeah. of design and things like that, that that transfer or whether it's like audio recording or, or mm -hmm. doing a bit mm -hmm. of video or something like that where I kind of know the basics, but yeah. I'm like, It'd be good to try something with that. Ideas-based projects actually could be transferred to lots of different mediums, you know, so actually when you're kind of working across different platforms and disciplines and things, you can kind of learn from the last thing that you did to kind of uh, improve the next thing that you work on. The ideas are absolutely key to, mm -hmm. to any project. The, the best projects always start with a solid idea. Mm -hmm. And the ones that I feel aren't necessarily as successful is that that idea hasn't been nailed down as well at the start yeah, and the concept yeah. isn't strong enough before yeah. you've then gone and, right, let's go make it. Mm -hmm. So I trained as a painter at Duncan and Jordanson. I'm pointing because it's that way. And I was quite sort of, I guess it was a confidence thing, but I just kind of thought, well, I, I make paintings, so I only look to other paintings for my inspiration. You know, it was quite sort of a narrow way of approaching things now, I guess, looking back. Um, but I guess, I, like, like you say, ideas can come from anywhere, you know, and uh, I think now that's what, you know, you know, with working with lots of different artists from different disciplines now and with our students and things, we're always trying to encourage them to, like, you know, go to the theatre and watch movies and go and see sculpture and painting and lots of different things and uh, to kind of feed to their creativity from different angles. I suppose it, yeah, it comes on from what we were talking about earlier, but what do you think makes a good idea? For me, a lot of it comes from, I'm, well, I think of myself as quite a sociable person. I enjoy being around people, I enjoy learning about what they're up to. A lot of ideas for projects for me just come from conversation and just sitting down with people and having a blether and a cup of tea and seeing what they're up to and then thinking about how we might kind of evolve that to give it a public face platform to, you know, allow the public to kind of learn more about um, what's going on behind you know lab doors and research uh, studios and all that kind of stuff and kind of make it uh, into the sort of public forum. I have Sam's, what would you call it, hat of random questions. <laughs> Ooh, well, this will be fun. What is your most awkward encounter with a stranger? So, I mean, I suppose it's not, it wasn't a complete stranger. Um, it's someone I'd met once before. Mm -hmm. um, it was a client, and well, a potential client. So I was in, in for a meeting, so I was down chatting to, to her. And I always find sort of meet and greet um, rituals very awkward. Mm -hmm. the, the woman who was in the meeting led me to the door, and as I was going out, I sort of stood there, and then we shook hands. But as we shook hands, she went in. And I didn't realise she was leaning in. And then there was an awkward moment where we just stood there and shook hands and she was sort of leant over slightly. And then I said goodbye and left. Do you think she was just trying to open the door or was she I going for the hug? I don't know. And, or she was going for like the kiss on the cheek. Oh, man. Which I always find awkward. Yeah. Just um. go for the high five, man. Wins every time. Just up top. <laughs> <laughs> On your way out the door with a client. <coughs> I was at a 
nightclub once. I could have swore I saw my friend's sister on the dance floor. It's like, oh yeah, look, there's that girl that I know. And I just went up to her and in time to the music, hands on the shoulders, spun around, wasn't my friend's sister, it was a total stranger. <laughs> I was like, Sorry about that. I need to creep away. So if you could change one thing about Dundee, whether that's a teeny tiny thing or a big thing, what, what would you choose? I think there's still a lot of like disparity between um, you know things that people have and things that people don't and things that people have access to and others don't. We um, so we established Optimistic Sound, which is a, a charity to that was founded to to bring um, Systema Scotland to Dundee, um, and I think. You know, whilst there's lots of amazing like music tuition and stuff that goes on in the schools and and, and round Dundee, um, I think actually what Systema Scotland do is a you know a really kind of intense way of working with communities to kind of raise their aspirations and life chances and all that kind of stuff. I remember reading this um, something that it was the guy that wrote Fight Club, <laughs> and he he said this thing that I was just like, oh man, that's just so spot on for me. He said something about um, the, like the first thing that young people that maybe don't have any money but they have creativity and, and energy, the first thing that they could do to take control of the world is to control their culture, you know, by like making the art, by writing the books, by, you know, writing the music that kind of challenges the world that they live in, that demonstrates the kind of world that they want to live in. I think anything that can kind of like instill that and, um, embrace that and support it is, is a good thing. The, the inequality is a massive, massive issue. Mm. And when you see such a lot of money being invested in the city mm -hmm. and that, that still exists, it seems, mm -hmm. seems a bit strange in a way because that money could have been there to address some of that inequality better. Mm -hmm. um, mm. But as you say, if, it, if the offshoots of things like the museum opening up mm -hmm. starts to get um, young people involved in that sort of thinking yeah. um, and just started to try and take hold of their sort of destiny or whatever you want to call yeah. it and sort of push them down the creative routes and sort of allow them to to have outlets for that creativity as well. Mm -hmm, um, I mm -hmm. think that would be great but it's just it's ensuring that that, that, that happens. Okay Ryan so if people were really interested in getting some web info stuff design things yeah <laughs> how would they get in touch um so they can find me uh, made by slurp com. that's slurp with two p's and slurp -pipa. yeah <laughs> uh or yeah at made by slurp on twitter as well um yeah i mean if, it, if they want to find out a bit more about like, the creative community and what's going on here and the sort of breadth and depth of people that are involved in that then they can listen to the podcast mm -hmm. uh, which is Creative Chit Chat Dundee is what it's called, um, and it's cccdundee.com and at cccdundee on Twitter and on Instagram. Um, what about yourself? If they want to find you? Yeah, if they want to find me, they could do that through the uni, really. Um, so, uh, yeah, you can get in touch with Abertay and, and reach me that way if you're interested in what we're up to and what we're planning for our cultural engagement programme. Um, through Neon through Neon Digital Arts, um, northeastofnorth.com, so people can go on there and see what we've got planned for the, the year ahead, lots of exciting things afoot. Um, and I'm on Twitter and all that stuff as well. Claire Dundee on Twitter, I'm kind of flying the, the Dundee flag. It's a good handle, yeah, yeah I like that. 